Oh, yeah, it's going. It's going. Okay, now, ladies and gents, today is a little different here because I'm showing you. Wait a minute here. Let me look at this. Oh, this is going to be Okay. I'm doing this. Somehow. Okay, somehow I'm doing this. Um, today's a little different. Today I went to the um to the Goodwill. I went to the Goodwill to see if they had anything I could use for my Bohemian style things that I'm doing. Because the one thing I'm doing that is what I think is most awesome is my Bohemian style travelers um journals, notebooks. And um that is what I think is the greatest thing if I love them, I love them, I love them. And so, but I needed the right fabrics. I started making them. Oh, no, I've made two covers so far, but I just used fabrics I had around the house. So I went to the Goodwill thinking, maybe I'll get lucky, you know? And so, because so, some people do, they get lucky over to the Goodwill. Well, let me tell you what's the truth. I got lucky at the Goodwill. Now, and I'm going to show you. Well, first of all, you see things look different here because um, I'm in my sewing room. Let me just kind of scan around a little bit. Now, see, in my sewing room, over there, I have shelves. That fluorescent light up there is kind of crazy. Shelves full of lace. Okay, there's lace. Let me carry the camera. That's like a lot of lace up there on the shelves. Okay. They, at the top, that's big spools. You can't hardly see that because of the forest line. But over here, now, i got to look at the computer to see what I'm... Oh, those are my spools of lace that when you have... Because a lot of you have bought my lace already from me. When you buy lace from me, I give you 29 colors that... And, and they come off of these spools. I pull them off of them spools, and I wrap them on a piece of chipboard, and then I mail them off to you. Okay, so that's, that's those laces. And then, then I have all kind of other laces too, cause I'm the lace fairy. I got it, I got a lot. Up there on the top shelf, all of that, is also lace, the spools of lace, the big spools. Now that's two inch lace, see? This here that I've been peddling is one inch. Although when I sell the one inch, I'll just stick a little bit of the other stuff in there too. Now, this is the mess on my table right here where I was cutting fabric. So I'm gonna have to clean, cause that's my cutting table there. And then, and then hiding under here. That's my cricket. Okay, I gotta move him too. And then I have, like, there's, like, my one sewing machine. And there's, like, mother sewing machine. Antique almost, I guess. That one's much better. My, my grandson, he fixed it up for me to make it more pretty. He put stickers in, um, so then it's more pretty. And then I have, let's see if I can show you, that, machine there that looks like a relic that's the one that um ruffles my lace i can ruffle on that lace although it needs an adjustment i gotta get that adjustment made i've got spools of ribbon up there i have more lace up here of different styles of lace but most of these ones i'm almost out of well, not that one. That's I got lots of it, but I just used some of that. So, but here I got like more lace, and up here I have like more lace. So lace is the place. This is the lace place. I used to have a store, a little craft store, but we closed it up, and all I sold was lace and craft supplies. And so, but we closed that up. Now I have, over oh, there's nothing. 
but an empty closet. Well, not really empty. I took the doors out. Okay, let's see. Are you getting dizzy? Is there anything else to look at? Um, not really. Except for my sign. My husband made that sign on my door. Can you see it? That's when we were still courting. And he was working at a place that he did engraving, and he made me that sign for my door. Anyway, that's that. Okay, so that's pretty much my, and then under near, I don't think you can see under here, but I got, oh, maybe you can. There's rolls of beads and stuff under there. And underneath here, let me see, my serger is under there. Yeah, I got to get that out because I'm going to be needing that now that I got my whole, oh, yeah, and over here, see, I have some of my cricket cartridges. And then over here is, like, some more cricket cartridges. In other words, I got a lot of them cricket cartridges. There's probably about, I think I got about 35 cartridges from over the years from different places. I have one lady that gave me like 30 cartridges because she put them all up on her, on her computer to where however you do that, you unload them or something. Link them, link them. That's what she did. She linked them and, um, and, um, I got all fancy. Yeah, she linked them and then gave me the things. Because she didn't need them anymore. So, yeah, that's what she did. But I got all fancy. Check this out. That's an earring. And this is another earring. They don't match. But I don't have the matches to them. Or maybe I do, but they're still Or maybe I got another pair just like them. But they're different colors. But that's okay. That's what I... Because I got all fancy. Because I was going to go to the... Fancy Goodwill store. So I needed to be fancy. And then I put on my fancy jewelry. This jewelry is stuff I find. This I found at the thrift shop a long time ago. And I'm probably going to take it apart because I don't really wear this. I was just getting fancy because I was going to go to the Goodwill store. You know, people get fancy to go to Goodwill. And so I'm probably going to take this. And then this one is, you know, since I live in Florida, I wore this necklace. It's got all the shells on it. And that's real pretty, too. And so I may take that apart. I don't know. But I want to show. This is why I have you in here. Locked up in my sewing room. Is because um, I want to show you my haul. My haul. This is a haul video. Okay. And I'm showing you this so you can see. I hope you can hear me because I don't know if you can. God knows I hope you can. <laughs> My husband always hopes somebody else hears me besides him. But I want to show you what I found over to the Goodwill. Now, th this is one of the things. It's a, um, it's a valance. A lot of these are valances. This is a valance. It's already got like a, like these tassels. It's got three of them on it. And so I bought the valance. That is going to, because these are, these are basically going to be my journal covers. But they're not just going to be like this thing wrapped around a journal and call it a journal. No, it's going to be taken apart and put back together, taken apart and put back together. It's going to be pieced. And this, this, because I was thinking about going over to the, to the Goodwill, and I mean not the Goodwill, but over to the Joann's where they sell fabrics. And I was going to look to see what they had. And, um, but I figured I'll go to the Goodwill because Goodwill's right next to Lowe's. And my husband had to go to, to the Lowe's to get some wire for his weed whacker because he whacks weeds with it. And, um, so I said, oh, Lordy mercy, I'm going to go with you because the Goodwill's right next door. Because I was going to go thrift shop, but the thrift shop closed at one o'clock today. So I was too late for that because I was doing a live video. So then I went to the Goodwill. Now this, oh God, this one, this is another valance. But Lord knows that thing looks like it's about six foot long. And, and it's like, um, 
that burgundy color. And that's what I was looking was for the deep burgundy. So now this one says, okay, this one is a dry clean only. It doesn't say what the fabric is. But um, it's one of those that's like doubled. So that's a lot of fabric I have there. And let me tell you, everything today at the Goodwill, I didn't know they had colors, you know, because it's been a while since I've been to the Goodwill. And they have colors at our store anyway, that if today was blue. So anything with a blue tag or a blue little um, string on the tag was blue, it was 50% off. 50% 50, 50 off. F I D D Y. 50% off. Now, and so then I was scrounging for them blue tags. Now, most everything I got was a blue tag, but although there was a couple things that weren't a blue tag, but I took them anyway. Now, this is a very silky. It's again another. Um, remove before using. That's weird. Okay, this is. Dry clean only, spot clean only. Remove before using. That's weird. But anyway, now see, it's like gathered up in spots here, but I'm going to take that gathering apart. But see, on the bottom, can you see there's like them gemstones, like diamonds, real diamonds. Diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. But that's another valance. And, um, that's, that's going to also be parts of these covers on these journals that I'm going to make. But then there's this one. This is like gold. It's, it's like a gold fabric. And at the bottom of that one, do you see that? At the three tips of that one is like little charms already on it and made with little beads and so i'm going to take them apart and i will have beads for tassels because they're some of them are already coming apart so i'm going to take them apart and i'm going to clean them up good and because they do look a little dingy like they've been around for a while but this is some awesome fabric so and this is going to go right fine with my with my my um bohemian style journals and then oh my gosh this one almost died when i saw that i won't open them all up because see this one here is again it's about four or five foot long and it's got even this um fringe on the bottom now this is made in china 55 percent cotton 45 percent and a polyester and so but it's heavy it's like a it's like a um upholstery kind of fabric and lord knows that's nice you know pieces of that i i can't wait to just start cutting it apart and here's another one now this one is again this is one fourth of it it's folded in fours now this one, I think this one was the one that's made in, let's see where that tag went from that one. There was a tag. Maybe there wasn't a tag on this one. Some of them didn't have a tag. I was looking, you know, on them to see where, where they come, where, because some of them actually came from like Nepal and stuff, places like that. I love that. Heavy. It's heavy stuff. This one here is like a green. It's almost like a plaid. And this is a heavy, I guess it's like a heavy cotton, this one is. And I love this color. This, just thinking about these in a patchwork, think about them in like a crazy quilt patchwork style. That's what I'm doing. That's, that's what it's going to be. I got enough stuff here to... Oh, this, this here is a valance as well. Um, it's a curtain, LSU. LS, wait a minute. What does that say? LSU. Yeah, see, that's just in the middle. 
I probably won't use that, but then it's got this much purple on either side. And that's a balance. And so, sports coverage made in the United States of America. Military Parkway, Dallas, Texas. Made in China. Finished in the USA. Okay, so I guess that was a China-USA togetherness party there that they were having and made this curtain. And that's a little bit of purple. I mean, a lot of purple. That's going to go. But then I also found this one. And this is the whole curtain. About 10 foot long. It's really, 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 really long. And it's not really, 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 really wide. There was probably two at one time. And somebody probably bought the other piece because it was purple in this one I don't know I may make this into a tablecloth you know what I found I found a purple pot it was a little bitty pot it was a little bitty pot but I found a purple pot I bought both it's just a little one it's only about like a two quart but because it was purple I bought it okay now and then this one this one is another one that's double Double. This one brought it was brought it to at the J.C. Penny, and that's another one that's doubled. Oh no, this one's not doubled. This one's, but it's it's very it's nice. It's heavy. I mean these, and it's kind of like got a texture, a really nice texture. Very <coughs> that cough. I wish I could live without coughing. I got that COPD stuff, whatever that means. I think the C stands for crap. I don't know. But anyway, then this one, this is pretty too. Now, this one's very silky. There's black and there's gray. And that one's very silky. But again, that's another balance. So I bought that one because of the fabric. I love the fabric. And... This one is just a tea towel. This is just a tea towel. That was 50 cents. But um, look at the edge on that. Do you see the edge on that? And with those tassels, would you have give 50 cents for that? Fitty, F-I-D-D-Y, 50 cents. I think you would have been happy to give 50 cents for that because that's beautiful. Can you imagine that? A part of that on a, um, on a, on a, Boho Traveler's Journal, yes, that's going to be gorgeously beautiful. Then we have, this is a placemat, and it's like the neatest thing. I like this placemat. That one, the, the um, tag is all faded out on that one, but I like that placemat. It's going to be the backing. You know, on a traveler's notebook, the back cover, you know, probably the back cover, and then I can maybe fold it over or maybe turn it this way to make the pockets. Oh, yeah, this is going to be nice. A night, you figure that as a traveler's journal with, um, you know, mainly this, and then I'll have embellishments on it. And a tag on the edge, a jewel, uh, what I call a bojangle on the edge, on the edge. Maybe I could make two out of that. I don't know. But anyway, I might be able to, but that would be nice. Now see, I'm going to be opening up an Ipsy store. I've been saying this for years. I haven't done it yet. Well, actually I did put one together, but I haven't used it. Okay. So now this one is another. This one's made in India, and it's another, almost the same kind of a placemat, but that, again, is going to be another, another journal cover. But see, those, those placemats are going to make beautiful starts of colors, like covers, the bases, base of the covers. Oh, and then wait till you... <coughs> See this one. This is this one here is made in India as well, 
Now, this is a place bet, but look at, you know, when I'm done with it, you won't see that there's vegetables on it, but you will see the colors because once I get that folded over, because it's going to be about this wide, you know, like a traveler's journal is about four and a half inches wide and about eight and a half inches long. So, so I, you know, and then by the time I get to the embellishments put on it and other things stitched to it, you won't notice that that's a red pepper because you're just going to see the colors and you're going to feel texture and, and it is made to last for a lifetime. Okay. And I actually got lucky. I mean, cause them was 50 cents. So I bought, they had two of them. So I bought both of them cause I really did like that. Oh, oh, you wait till you lay your eyeballs on this one. You wait. Got your eyeballs ready? Now, look at this blouse. This blouse is all sequins. This is just made of nothing but sequins. Now, I am going to take this blouse apart, and I'm going to, I'd wear it if it fit me, but it's too little. And, but, it says it's size extra large, but uh, this body must be like extra, extra large, because this kind of stuff don't fit on it. Yeah, it can work. So, anyhow, but I love those sequins and so now when I'm patchworking the cover together a small a piece of this on it or two of them sequins and glory be that's going to be nice okay sorry if I'm taking up a lot of your time oh and then my dear friends check this out check this out just look at this doesn't that look like a bouquet for a queen? Like, if Queen Elizabeth had this, she'd think that she was the luckiest queen alive. But she's not. I am. This is a blouse that I would wear. Although it is much too small for my heftiness. And so, but... Look at this. Look at that fringe on the sleeves. Look at that beauty on the neckline. Look at this right here. There's like a metal embellishment there with leather and beads, colorful beads. Is that just beautiful? Beauty to the eyes. And look at this fringe that's right here on the edge all the way to this neckline. And then when you go to the bottom of the blouse, this is the bottom. It's like a t-shirt, but it's it's more than a t-shirt. Look at that. That's at the bottom. I could not believe when I saw this. I was talking to my daughter on the phone while I was there at the Walmart. And she thought I was hyperventilating. I said... No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm just finding treasures. You see all those beads on there? That's like a real treasure. So now this fabric is like t-shirt fabric, but now, and I probably won't use the actual fabric on a journal cover, but I will use this as to cut into strips and um, use them on my Bohemian beats on my Bojangles. Yeah. Oh, so this. Oh. oh, now you wait. Let me see what's next. Oh, this. Oh, this. This, I kind of looked at it. And this. this is one that wasn't a blue tag. But it was an outfit. A blouse. No, it's skirt and a jacket. Now, this fabric is purple. I opened the, it's, the skirt actually has like a drawstring. Now I could probably wear this, but I probably won't. So I like, 
I bought it because, for one thing, it's got beautiful purple um, fabric, but at the edge, at the edge pieces, is this embroidery, and it's embroidered right on, on the, it's embroidered right on the fabric. It's like, that's a cross. Can you see how that sparkles? Can you just see that on the front of a journal? I am thinking, and because it's purple, it's beautiful. It's beautiful because it's purple. I have a dog scratching at my door. I don't let my dogs in the sewing room. I don't. I just, this is my private area. It's like my man cave for a woman. So that's the skirt. Now, hold your horses while I show you the jacket. Ta-da! Here it comes. Oh, this is the jacket that goes with the skirt. Look at that. Look at that collar. Look at that. Now that is beautiful. This is all... Okay, it's got a lining on there. But, oh, yeah, I can see that it's all embroidered on there. And it's got these metal. These little shiny things are actually like little pieces of mirror. Like like little pieces of mirror on there. And I love this. Man, if I could wear that, I'd wear, I'd wear that to the Walmart. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. Yeah, maybe I'll save that. La la, Jadam. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, but now I'm not going to wear it. No, I'm not. Um, but that is pretty doggone schnazzy. Um, I'm not going to actually wear it because I wouldn't wear that because I would, because it's too beautiful to wear. But this is coming apart into pieces, and um, these pieces are going to be used on my journals. This is, this is hot. Dang, that's beautiful. Now, see if I was to wear the skirt with it. I could fit this tight, this skirt out over this farmer body here. The skirt and the jacket let's see that's beautiful you see how that sparkles okay yeah i'm not gonna wear it but um see it doesn't close oh yeah it goes it meets in the middle it meets in the middle but it doesn't close but um all right that's hot let me get that off let me get that off of this body. That's kind of hot. Okay, so, yeah. But I like it. I like it a lot. That is going to make, again, fabric for a beautiful, beautiful journal. And one day in my lifetime, I'm going to have an Etsy shop, and I'm going to have them for sale. Okay, now. Some of the things that I like is not bohemian because I also like the shabby, shabby chic kind of stuff. Oh, you know what? I got this too. Actually, I got two of these. This is just like a little belt. It almost looks like a dog collar, but it's not. It was made, it was in a kit that was made that you can put stuff together and make, but it's got little bitty holes along the edge. Of this, of course, it's too long, so I'm gonna have to cut it. But then it's it's leather, it's leather, and I'm and, but it's got little holes, and I'm gonna work on putting beads on this beads and charms, and I'm gonna make me a real pretty bracelet. Okay, now this is because I like the shabby chic as well. So that was a little advertisement in between styles on in this fashion show. This is a this is I'm going to split with my friend because she does, she does, um, my friend Cheryl, she does a lot of the 
um, shabby chic stuff. And oh my God, it's so beautiful. But now this is a, this is a valance, but you see how the lace has got some very faint color in the flowers? Just very pastel. So, and it's got like four scallops on it. So I'm going to cut that in half. And I'm going to give her, you see that, Cheryl? Uh, that's what I'm bringing you on Thursday. I'm going to give you half of this piece. And so you're going to have two of those scallops. And I want to see what you make out of that. That's going to be a challenge for you, but I think, I mean, it's not going to be a challenge for you because you're an expert. Now, these are placemats, and there was a set of four of them. Now, can you see how lacy those are? I bought them because these will, um, my friend Cheryl, she's making, she's my BFF, um, she's making needle books, and she's making, um, like little journal type books in in that fashion of the shabby chic now there was four of these in the set so that two are for me and two are for cheryl so and she's gonna like them you're gonna like them cheryl i know she's watching this because she watches all my videos now now and then here Oh, we're getting to the bottom of the set. This is a pillow sham cover, like a pillow cover. But it's got this lace. It's covered with this Battenberg style lace. The Battenberg lace. That's what it's covered with, with, with fabric, like a cotton fabric underneath. So, this is going to make a beautiful start to a, um, I think I'm going to cut this one in half, too, for me and Cheryl. And um, so we both can make something out of that and see what we turn ourselves up with. Because that's pretty. I love the Battenberg laces. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. And I find that this was a treasure. 98 cents. Now, think I'm at the, oh, I only have one more thing to show you, and it is another, it's another, um, thing, a uh, pillow sham cover, you know, you put them on your pillows to make your pillows look pretty while well. your bed is made through the day, then you take them off, and you go to sleep, and then when you get up in the morning, and you make your bed, then you put it back on the pillow, so that your pillow looks just gorgeous, well, in this here family, they would be a waste, a total waste of time because we just get in the van. And then in the morning, we just get out of the van. And then in the night, we get in the van. And then in the morning, we get out of the van or something like that. And so, and I take naps during the day. So I'd have to take it out, put it on, take it out, put it on. Now, I'm not into that. I'm not into that. That's too much for me. So I don't use pillow shams. My husband makes my bed every evening before I get in. He goes in there and makes my bed. Now, this, if you could see it, it's got some kind of very thin, very bubbly, very, I don't even know the fabric. And then in, in, through the fabric, is some embroidered vines with real small, real small little flowers. This is so pretty, and it would look pretty on a bed. There, there is. I have thought that I wanted to do my bedroom all in white because I think it would be so pretty. All in white and shabby chic, my bedroom. I think that would be pretty, but it doesn't match my husband. No, although he's got a white beard and white hair, it wouldn't match. This kind of stuff does not match my husband. To match my husband, I'd have to make um, pillow shams out of burlap. And I'm not going to do that. And so anyway, I wonder if this gives me, it's like quilted fabric. It's like quilted. That's thick. That's quilted. I'm going to cut that one in half, too, for me and my friend. Now, um. Let me see if that says, 
excuse me, anything, anything, if she should choose anything, date of delivery, oh, there's nothing on there. Made in India. This is made in India. So, I think India knows how to do their pillow shillings. But it ended up in the high hot little hand. That's what I can say, and that's beautiful. That's the end of my stack of my haul from the Goodwill. Then I also got these. These was 98 cent, 99 cent. And um, they're them headband things. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm talking, there's 12 there. And now I only got one package because I don't know if they're actually. Oh no, there's not, there's only six because they're double. I didn't realize, you know, that's good. That'd be good for my journals. They're doubled because this is, you know how the edge of a journal has, a, a traveler's journal has the bands? I didn't realize those were two. I mean, two bands in each one. That is going to, uh, they had more there. I may just have to, if this fits, I'm going to check it on my one I got out there in the living room. And see if it fits, but see they're put together with that metal. And that would put two bands in the traveler's notebook that would hold two. Well, even one band can hold more than two. But um I'm gonna try them. I'm kind of excited now that I see that there's two. But these are gonna be the bands that hold this the the and, uh they're not called signatures in a, in a, um, travels and but they're called inserts. They're called inserts. So, this is what, this was my haul today from, from, um, the Goodwill. I'm very happy with it. And my, I should have brought my purple pot in here so I could show you my purple pot because I'm just, I'm just into purple. I am just so into purple today. And yesterday and all the days before that, I'm just really getting into purple. As you can see, my hair, now it needs washed. It's my, I washed it every other day. And now, see, tomorrow morning, it's going to need washed. I don't wash it at night because, I don't wash it. Yeah, it needs washed. Um, I don't wash it at night because I wear one of them CPAP machines this week. It makes me look like my grandson says I look like elephant. But I wear one of them, and it goes around my hair, and then it makes me have a bad hair day because it melts my hair to my head and stuff. So I like to wash it in the morning and let it dry, and then it's more fluffy. I bet you're real glad to know that, aren't you? <laughs> you guys are so fancy. Um, okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching me show my... Goodwill Hall. I'm so excited. I was going to go to Joanne's. I'm so glad I didn't because I didn't need to be at Joanne's. And I think I showed you everything in here. Um, this is my sewing room. I'm going to, I've got plans for shelves in that closet area. In that closet area. There's going to be shelves. I got a few things in there. But in my rack for my lace isn't up for my ruffling machine. I gotta get that up. I'm gonna have somebody come over here and do all the adjustments on it for me so I can get that done. And um because that's how I ruffle my lace. And I want to be able to offer some of this lace ruffled. Uh, right now I'm awfully offering it flat because that's in um you'll see if you go to my Scrap and Lizzie page, Facebook page, it's just called Scrap and Lizzie. If you go there then you will see, um, let me see, just a minute. I, I guess I'll go ahead and put a link. I'll put a link to that down below in the description box. But if you go to the Scrapping List page and you, um, it's Facebook page, you will see, I think I got it pinned right to the top. I'm not sure about that because I don't really, I'm a complete computer illiterate person. I'm learning a little bit more. Thank you, Stacy Evans from the Pink Poodle Playhouse Pack Playground. She, I called her up on the telephone. I just called her right up on the telephone like I, like I knew her. I just, hello, my love. I already told her she's my daughter. 
You know, I, mean, I did adopt her. Um, I don't know if she needed adopted, but I adopted her anyway. But um, she walked me, right? Because I wouldn't be able to do them live streams that I do because I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get live streaming to work. It wanted me to be the head, I guess. But she, very, she's smart. She's a smart girl, that girl. For one thing, she, I knew she was artistic. I watched her, she, her, her videos. I knew she was artistic, but I didn't know she was also a computer genius. She's a computer genius. She goes, oh, okay, if that didn't work, now I want you to do this. I want you to do this and do this and do this. And I go, oh, it's not working. She goes, okay, re restart your computer. Okay, so now she said, okay, click on this. There she had it. She, we had me and my hoopster. We worked on it for two days. Couldn't get that thing to work. So I finally gave up. And I think that's when I had put up a message somewhere. Said that I just ain't going to worry about it. I'm not going to do it. Because I couldn't get it to work. And so, um, so, uh, then she left me a message. She left me a message. She says, call me. I'll walk you through it. Because I thought I needed some encoder or something. Because that's what it said. I needed a little encoder. So we downloaded an encoder. Then then there was some encoders that sold for like $200. And, and I thought, oh, well, maybe I'm going to have to do that. Maybe I'm going to have to put um, buy this $200 encoder. I'll just put it on my credit card or whatever. And, um, which I didn't really want to do that. So then she called me. She goes, I mean, she messed with me. She goes, you do not need an encoder. And so she walked me right through it. Now I can make live streams. Well, I, I'm not perfect at it yet. And for some reason, I'm having some some um, issues with static. And so I don't know why I've got that static. And then it wants to go turn itself off and then come back on and I don't know why it's doing that and because when I make a regular video video you know one of them V things um I don't get the static but on the live streams I get the static so I don't know what's different because I'm using the same camera same camera same computer same everything but I get that um I wonder if because I have my phone on at the same time, because I look at the chat on my phone, I wonder if that makes the problem. You know what? That's I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try to do it without my phone, and just have the cat chat on the computer screen. But my computer screen is always like way up there, and so. But I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that. Now, am I running my mouth for nothing? Even Christmas. I know probably all of you have flaked out by now and you have left to go watch something better and that's good. That's good. That means you're smart. But <coughs> <coughs> I'm running out of air now anyway. So, But I use this. This is what I use. This craft text. It's craft text. I use this. It's like a paper, a fabric paper. Paper fabric. It's paper fabric. But I sew on it. You can wash this stuff. This is what I put as the base to my covers on my journals. So, you know, when you, you know, when I get my Etsy store and every one of you want to go over there and buy one, then um, this is actually the base. So, it's going to last forever and a day, forever and a day. Now, there's going to be some cheaps and not so cheaps, like the ones that have just basically one thing on it, not real embellished and stuff, those will be the not so cheaps. And but the ones that takes me three days to make, those one will I'm sorry, but they have to cost a little bit more. <sighs> I don't know. But that lace that you see, the ribbon that you see, the stuff you see, the other stuff that you don't see, there's gonna be a lot of good stuff on them things. They're gonna be nice. They're gonna be really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna let you go. Oh, here's my clear. That's my top coat from my fingernails. That's what I was looking for. Because, see, I put my fingernail polish on there, and then it chips off really fast. And But I needed this. I'm so glad I come in here, because now I found it. I'll put it right here by the sewing machine, so I'll know where it is. And it's amazing what you find when you look down. And I just won't look down. <laughs> 
Okay, because I don't need that done. I need to get the vacuum cleaner in this room. All right, that's it. I'm going to let you go now. Thank you for coming by, and I love you guys. I love you guys. And you guys that have been watching my... I've, well, I've made two live streams in a row in the morning when I get up. I think I still have my nightgown on this morning when I did one, because I just went right into it. But I'm going to make another video, and it might be tonight. But... um. The next video I make is going to be about a contest that I'm going to do. I have got almost a thousand subscribers. I don't know why people subscribe to me. I'm thinking that they have no life because they still subscribe to me. Just this little old lady, it's half crazy, got half her hair is all purple, and um, she's got purple pot in the kitchen, and she's got purple stuff. People subscribe to me. It actually blows my purple-headed mind. It really does. But, you know, that's good because I love people. I love people. Every person, if I'm riding down the road and I see a homeless person and they're holding a sign, one of them today I seen said it that he was thirsty. But he didn't make eye contact with us, so we couldn't give him a dollar. because He was just sitting down. Maybe he's dying. I don't know. But um, I just feel so sorry. For, I feel I feel bad for them. I want to just bring them home and give them something to eat and let them take a nap. I know I can't do that. But uh, that's what my heart wants to do. But I always say a little prayer for them. Prayers are free. Like I, and I have the hotline. I got a hotline, right? To God, I say a little prayer. Excuse me, God, if you're not busy, could you do me a favor? And you know. And you know how I pray that way? I pray that way. I'm talking to him on the telephone. Me and him are on first name basis. But anyway, we won't go into that now. But um, yes, what was I saying? Oh, I was just saying goodbye. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. I love you guys. Just like I love chocolate. And I do love chocolate. I don't eat this much now because I'm diabetic. But I sneak it. I sneak it. But you know what I do? I make sure that I eat. I make sure my blood sugar level is like low and then I eat my growing food. That's the problem. I like growing food first. And then I have a little piece of chocolate. And I figure that the good food will counteract the chocolate and then I'm all good, you know, so there's a method of a man that you're after her. Okay, now now that you see I am completely nuts. Nuts. <laughs> I was gonna say something else, but I can't say that because I'm a good woman. I can't talk bad. I have to put the quarter in the cuss jar. I don't want to do that. And so God bless you guys. God bless each and every one of you. Every step you take, every move you make, may God keep God with you. He, he'll go with you. He, you can even call him Bob. You know, say, come on, Bob. Here we go. You don't even call him Bob. You don't mind. People call me, you know, my grandchildren call me Nina. My, um... Well, now my kids even call me Mina. Everybody calls me Mina because my grandson, first eight years old, nine years ago, he started calling me Mina. I don't know why. He just did it just to stop. And so people call me Mina. Some call me Aunt Liz. Some call, call me Elizabeth. Some my mother. Oh, I won't tell you what my mother used to call me, but my husband. Oh, <laughs> he calls me things. So if you want to call God Bob, you go right ahead. You just let him know. But he will know because he can read your mind. But, um, okay, I gotta quit this. Okay, but may, may he bless you forever and a day. And I'll see you soon, really soon, because I do like making these here videos. Leave me a comment below and tell me if you think I should start an Etsy store. Let me know. Leave a comment below. And if you, um, haven't already subscribed to my channel, and if you don't mind hanging around crazy people, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And there's a little ding-dong bell. If you if you subscribe, then it shows like a little ding-dong bell. And if you click on that ding-dong bell, then it brings you to like a little prompt that will say, do you want to hear, get, do you want to get notifications when this crazy woman, I don't know if it actually says that on it, but um, it, when this crazy woman posts another video. And then you have to click yes if you want to. And then you will get little notifications. Now, then over on the other side of there, then there's like a like or a unlike button. Oh, thumbs up or a thumbs down. Now, if you 
want to give you a thumbs up, I love you. If you want to give me a thumbs down, I still love you because I know you're being honest. And, you know, you got to be honest. If you want to give me a thumbs down, you go ahead and do that. I've gotten a few thumbs downs. And um, sometimes I wonder, hmm, what I did to take that one off. But it may not, you know. So I could get a hundred likes and one, one thumbs down. I get a hundred thumbs up and one thumbs down, and I look at that one thumbs down. <laughs> and I go, I'm sad. But no, I don't. Okay, love you. I already said goodbye, did I? Okay, goodbye. I'm going to get my little mouse here, and I'm going to go over there to the goodbye station and say goodbye. Goodbye. I love you guys. Thank you for coming.